Malcolm X never lived to see the government fall But the state he opposed made him a stamp And that's the best you can hope for if you never give up Your enemies will teach your courts to dance And you and me buddy been living for a ghost We have been sticking our heads in the sand So when I'm afraid, take me by the hand And show the world that we can't be planned It's alright, it's okay It's just that everything's fucked It's alright, it's okay It's just that everything's fucked Catch me smashing my own windows when I'm feeling nuts It's alright, it's okay It's just that everything's fucked I've been lying on the floor alone and I'm washed Without enough courage to brush my teeth I'm afraid of the red that will pour out my gums And bleed me to death in my sleep I've been staying inside with the curtains down Ignoring what phone calls I get So when I come out, take me by the hand And show the world a fight it won't forget It's alright, it's okay it's just that everything's fucked It's alright, it's okay It's just that everything's fucked It's alright, it's okay It's just that everything's fucked It's alright, it's okay It's just that everything's fucked It's alright, it's okay It's just that everything's fucked It's alright, it's okay It's just that everything's fucked Catch me smashing my own windows When I'm feeling nuts It's alright, it's okay It's just that everything's fucked We 
don't get tired, we get even. I can't sleep anyway. Wolves haunt my living room. They keep me up all night.
It's going to be a thing. Uh, does anybody have the answer to the stream title? Marcus is a dork. Marcus will have the stream title answer. <clears throat> uh, fuck, I'm sweaty too. I just got done working out. Uh, Marcus is Googling right now. What do you bet Marcus does, didn't have the, 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 the music knowledge? It's like, I can find out. Research mode. Engage. Tappy tap. That's my impression of you, Marcus. <laughs> Enhance. <laughs> uh, hey, for twos. What's your word? What's your word count? Uh, uh, you're typing right, uh, Marcus. I want to know what your word per minute is. What's your error rate too? Are you are you a good typist, Marcus? Or is you do you rely on like a secretary or a scribe or a? I mean, you're basically a judge's scribe, so I can't imagine you, the scribe has a scribe. But either way, how's everybody doing? <laughs> I'm tired. I'm in pain. Um. I'm now stoned. I'm freshly worked out. I'm probably going to crash from like a glucose deficiency. Um, what else? Um, <laughs> dude, so rich his scribe has a scribe. Um, fucking, okay, so for you fucking absolute musical fucking novices. What did Queen say to Shinzo Abe? Jesus Christ, people. Another one bites the dust. Um, finished my first week of rock tumbling. Just started the next batch on another week-long journey. Nice, Aspen. I haven't seen a rock tumbler since I left Vermont, I don't believe. Um, let's see. Oh, this kid. I, I have to talk about this shit talk about this shit there's just no way I can't talk about this shit um hey Kurt also I was really proud early uh earlier today um that was a straight witty response when Ancom soccer mom came through and asked for destiny's manifesto and I I linked her to uh Django Unchained on IMDB that was solid fucking wit work that was witty as fuck. I'm pretty sure Wither was there and laughed. Fuck. <laughs> Can I have fucking Destiny's fucking manifesto? Yeah, here's a script of Django Unchained. Done. Um, <clears throat> nice. Good. Glad you will, Aspen. All right. So this little motherfucker right here, we got to talk about it. We got to talk about it. Everyone, <clears throat> meet Tyler Parker. This is Tyler Parker. Tyler Parker is 14 years of age. Yes, this 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 person uh, is 6'1", 300 pounds, and looks like this at age 14. Now, for the for the for the ones in the back of the class and the ones who may not have been there for this particular lesson. Let's look at a couple of things. <clears throat> you see this? This is gynecomastia. Also known as gyno. This is the first sign of the roid use. You see this? Distension. This is pseudo diabetic uh, uh, gastric distension. This comes from HGH. You see how there's like n absolutely like no lines, no wrinkles, no nothing anywhere. And you see how he's so puffy and swollen? That's because testosterone causes water retention. So, this motherfucker. If I had to guess, 
at age 12 or 11 was put on a regimen of testosterone and probably HGH. He's a football draft, like a football recruit at 14. <clears throat> they got some problems, though, other than the obvious. Check them legs out. Look at the rest of this man, and I'm going to call him a man. He's 14. Look at him. That's a fucking what you want to talk about. That motherfucker already went through puberty hard with a fucking elephant's dose of testosterone. What you talking about? Um, he has been skipping leg day. If I'm the opposing coach, if someone went to the has school exercising, if I'm the opposing football coach, I'm just going to tell my boys to fucking take him out at the ankles. His career's over in a fucking game. This is, pro this is fucking, dude, this picture freaked me the fuck out. I found this on uh, BBT on Reddit. And, dude, they were fucking lot. It was disturbing how few people were, were like, you know that's a lot of roids, right? Like, that's a lot of roids. Like, no, oh yeah, the <clears throat> the, the heart muscles got fought, fucked, fucked, Peaky. Sergey, 100% abuse. 100% abuse. There's no fucking way this kid at 12 or 11, based on this amount of muscle growth, anabolic cycles, I'm guessing even predisposition, um, easy gainer, um, I'm guessing he had to do his first cycle somewhere between the ages of 11 and 12. Yeah, it, it, it's if this is 14, boy, he could have been thick. He could have been a big boy, but this is two years, probably more. This is probably three years. This is, this is child abuse. This is child abuse. Yeah. But like probably now let's talk about the material conditions. Everyone, the chances are homeboy knowing nothing, knowing nothing, probably. Homeboy lives in an area where football's one of the ways out. Do what you got to do to, you know, do. So there's a talk to be had there. But, yeah, I saw this photo going around and a lot of people were like, holy shit, look at this kid. He's going to be fucking knocking dudes down on the field. He's going to be like, people were like, wow, look at this dude. And then, you know, of course, the cracking jokes, like he's 14, like fucking, you know, going on fucking 30. Like this, you know, the homeboy has, you know, X, Y, and Z, all the fucking jokes. And first thing I see is like, that's a 14-year-old who is on industrial doses of testosterone. It's... It's intense. The uh, the cocktail they got that kid on, I think there's some HGH in there too based on his gut. Just just, just a fucking shot in the dark. It could just be tea, but I'm guessing something in the, like, the Sustanon territory where it's a cocktail plus some HGH on top of it, if I had to guess. Because th that's some fucking weight. 300 pounds, fucking 14, and just, I mean, all... All the signs. Just all the signs. I mean, boy got tits. There's a difference between like a huge peck that's a muscle and gynecomastia. Um, and, uh, um, 80s. There we go. That'll do it. Right? Like even even a bodybuilder, even a bodybuilder. Let's take yeah. Let's take one of the most famous pictures ever. Right. And we know Arnold was doing cycles, but here's what we know: <clears throat> whoever did this kid's regimen is a fucking amateur. Because if you're getting gyno, you're a fucking amateur. You have to be on an E2 blocker. This is just one of those things that, like, is a part of every bodybuilder cycle out there. They talk about this. That is, you have to stop the downstream estrogen production, and if you don't, you end up with bitch tits. 
Somebody put this fucking kid on straight T with no uh, downstream um, uh, blocker. And it, this is just this is a shoddy fucking cycle somebody put this kid on. So not only did somebody put a, a 12 or 11 year old on um, fucking like professional bodybuilder levels of fucking testosterone, like a he heavy cycle, instant puberty, instant puberty, just just insta puberty. Um, they did it poorly. <laughs> Which that to me, I mean, that, that, that actually to me is sort of like the greatest sin is not only did you abuse this child, it was bad enough. You abused the kid, but the purpose is the end goal that you were seeking is shit. You didn't even do it right, right? It's bad enough. You fucked this kid over for life. This kid's fucked. This kid's fucked. He's absolutely fucked. He, he will not be long for this world. Um, you did it really poorly. Like it just, oh man. I mean, it just, yeah, this, this, this photo just kills me and it's making the rounds. Fucking 14 years old, six foot one, 300 pounds, clearly on testosterone, heavy doses of testosterone and probably HGH based on the, the, the pseudo gastric the swelling. It's ridiculous. I, I can't. Can adverse health effects be minimized for the future? Dude, th yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's, Viva, yes. It, it's, it's, a, it's a game of, like, catch-up at this point. Um, he has fucked his HPA. His, his, um, his hypothalamus pituitary adrenal is going to be completely, like, it, he's going to need to be probably monitored by an endo, an endocrinologist, for all maybe life at this point like they have they've thrown him probably through an artificial puberty completely thrown his body's set numbers out of whack his experience like oh oh this kid his heart is the muscle fiber on his heart is thickening and hardening it's it's growing at a rate that it shouldn't and he's going to have an enlarged heart as a result of that, like he's going to have thickening of the blood. Like there, there's somebody should be fucking keeping an eye on this kid's labs. Clearly somebody has designed a fucking a cycle for this kid f over the course of years and not been monitoring it or doing it correctly. Cause I'll tell you right now, if they're not doing a downstream blocker, this is an amateur beyond amateurs fucking belief. Like this is, this is just a rank amateur. Right, do whoever has abused this child in this way, like legitimately, doesn't even know what the fuck they're doing. So, like, yeah, I would not count on his blood work being monitored either. And given the propensity for sickle cell within the black community, in combination with some of the like MCH change, it's, oh my, he's fucked. He's fucked. <clears throat> Oh, I don't give a fuck about it. Uh, fucking, it, fucking Shinzo Abe. Fucking right-wing nationalist who wanted to undo the pacifist constitution and belongs to a party who openly supports monarchy. Yeah, you know what? Like I said in the stream title, what did Queen say to Shinzo? Another one bites the dust. Anyway. Yeah, Aspen. Yeah, that poor baby's so confused. Dude, imagine the fucking emotional load. Imagine. Imagine that amount. Uh, also, war crime denier. Yeah, you're right, Cupcake. I fuck, Sorry, I left off the war crime denier part of it, too. Um, yeah, fuck that guy. Yeah, um, yeah, Aspen. Imagine being fucking 14 or 12 or 11 and being injected by your mom, dad, coach, older brother. I don't... Whoever in his life absolutely fucked him up, like, you know, whoever did this, like, you can't tell me the parents don't fucking know, right? Like, it, it's whoever's doing this, I mean, imagine being 12 and, like, the hormones of a fucking, like, racehorse. You're like, how much testosterone does he have? Yes. Right? You have, you've, how much testosterone does this kid have? 
Uh, well, um, I don't know if you're familiar with measurements and how we measure testosterone, but um, have you ever seen the Kentucky Derby? <clears throat> Fucking. Oh, yeah, yeah, cupcake. I'm baiting him out. It's an easy swipe. Yeah, this kid, dude, this kid's, this kid's fucked. He's fucked. And you won't, <clears throat> Tyler Parker, by the way. Tyler Parker is his name. Don't expect to see his name in, like, the NFL. Like, it's, dude, don't expect to see this name, like, have a long storied career. Some shit. No, without. He's got clear signs. At the very beginning, we fucking went through all the medical signs of this fucking... Dude, he's got clear gynecomastia. He's got the pseudo-extension in the gastric area that's usually indicative of the HDH. He's got the swellingness, the water retention. He's got the ab, uh, abnormal uh, trap development that occur occurs since the traps are actually far more testosterone-sensitive than the muscle set. He's got... I mean, this is literally... And, you know, he's... 14 like you can take one look at this body development and be like oh okay no he's clearly on fucking roids <laughs> that's <laughs> it's he's dude he's even got the bitch tits he's even got the bitch tits like all the way down the classic sign that's how we know his cycle is fucking poorly designed so he says somebody didn't include an e2 blocker with him because he got gynecomastia on top of it jesus christ Whoever fucking did that. Yeah. Yeah, he's clearly on it. Like, it's... So somebody put a kid at, like, 12 or 11 on fucking roids and HGH, maybe. Jesus goddamn Christ. Oh. It's fucking psychotic. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and... He skips like day. Just saying. Just saying. I already pointed this out earlier. He's a fucking football recruit. You're gonna come uh, if you're gonna put him. If you're gonna field him, dude. Oppose up uh, opposing coach. I'm gonna tell my boys to go for his ankles. I'm gonna be like, just go to go for his fucking ankles. Well, he'll we'll snap a fucking ankle in the first quarter, and we'll be done with this. Like that dude's fucking top heavy. He's top heavy. He skips forearm day. Yeah, um, he's clearly doing some isolations. He's doing like, um, um, he's doing like uh, a bicep. Uh, he's even ignoring his tricep to a certain degree. Um, his shoulders are underdeveloped. His traps are overdeveloped. Um, fucking, and yeah, his forearms are like, I mean, it's difficult to see because he's all puffy from, uh, from the water retention. But like, I mean, here's, here's what a proper cycle looks like. You want you want to know what like what it looks like when you know what you're doing? This is what it looks like when you know what you're doing. This is this is the power of fucking roids. That's what you what it'll get you is just absurd muscle. Oh yeah, I would guess so, Sonya, or well on their way, well on their way, yeah. His back is oh no oh Jesus Christ you're right uh, Jesus Peaky oh God he's fucking oh my God it's all show muscle it's all fucking glamour muscle this motherfucker's been isolating shit oh Jesus Christ good 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 catch Peaky Jesus Christ the back is super soft yeah he's not dude he doesn't have the core strength he doesn't have the core strength. Somebody just ruined this kid's life. <clears throat> cut his life in half. Somebody just cut cut this kid's life in half for football. Okay? For football. And did and half assed it. Just absolutely half assed it. Yeah, dude, if he's already being looked at, because that's the story, Aspen. This kid's been going around because apparently he's some like somebody's looking at him. I'm like, if somebody's looking at him, maybe somebody can fix him. I mean, he's broken, but like, maybe somebody can patch him up a little bit because he needs a professional because he's going to have problems. He's going to need a team.
Like, he, he needs a fucking NFL team, like, doctor now. He needs access to those resources because they, they could straighten that out. Life and half are an American. That's like 28 now. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, without himself. Yeah, it's all for football. Football. Which is when, when we first started talking about it, this is sort of, you know, political space. We do do that. Um, you talk about the conditions, right, that led to that scenario that somebody would, you know, I mean, it's probably one of the situations where he or someone he knows this is football is one of the few ways out football is one of the few ways out and people are willing to do crazy shit for their you know one shot so at uh, at the end of the day the buck stops with society as a whole unfortunately on this one this is child abuse because of but yeah, somebody put an 11 or 12 year old on a fucking roid cycle that's comparable to those those tits are a dead giveaway. Dude, those tits are a dead giveaway. I'm just looking at my top mind. I mean, it's 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 kind of Camastia, man. <laughs> you can literally see you can see where the peck actually stops. So it folds out from pectoralis major and it fans. Um, out onto the uh, the thoracic, and then you can see where the the actual gynecomastic development is occurring, and you can see the sort of bulbous on the end. Dead giveaway. Dead giveaway. Every fucking time. It's 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 <clears throat> it's somebody who's taking testosterone and doesn't know what they're doing. And when it's a 14-year-old, you can't tell me it's the, the drug user. Because that's not... Um, when you abuse testosterone, you don't use the creams or the sprays. It's not really advantageous. That child is getting probably twice a week injections, maybe once a week. You know what? No, never mind. He's not getting twice a week injections. I would bet you if he's got bitch tits, whoever designed his cycle is a fucking idiot. Um, they're doing once a week injections probably to minimize it for him. He's got valleys and he's got peaks and valleys. He's got peaks and valleys. This kid at... 12 to 14 I can only imagine 12 year old imagine this 12 year old kid just being thrown into an artificial puberty dealing with all the psychological and emotional like underdevelopment that you deal with at, at that age only now you have the hormone load of like Arnold Schwarzenegger in the late 80s right like this is you just fucking the levels of abuse that have occurred to that child like I, I, that that's that's the that's the one that we really can't comprehend is the the level of like unpurposed aggression that has been brought out of him and funneled because you know they tell him to use it when he's fucking angry for no reason because you're fucking 14 and you've got you know a fucking free testosterone level of 3,500 or some stupid fucking number. Right? Like, yeah. Yeah, they're probably like getting in his ear, whispering to him and fucking, leave it on the, put it on the field, put it on the field, put him on the field, you know, use it, kill him. Meanwhile, every fucking hit's destroying that kid. This kid's already fucked. Oh, oh um, here's another here's another story from the area. Here you go. This is great. It's fucking great. Um <clears throat> Can I just close that? All right. <clears throat> so
So, dude from Michigan, all right, had his family go out to fucking California and die hiking. They went out hiking last year on an uh, uh, an August afternoon, and temperatures hit 109 degrees in steep mountainous terrain. And well, bam, you know, shit happens. But this dude fucking didn't believe. He would not believe what happened to his family. He thought something like he seriously went like full blown because he comes out and fucking he's hiking it. And he's going to prove, and he had to be rescued. This year. He came out alive, though. Yeah. Authorities got to him soon enough. Oh, Caboose, they never learn, man. They never learn. People just think this part of the world is just, it's just hot. Okay. 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 <clears throat> Does he believe it now? Viva. Exactly, right? That's that's the fucking question. If I were a reporter and this was my story and I like I had it, I like I had a shot at it. Oh yeah, you better believe. It's the first thing you ask him. It's like, "So, do you believe it now?" Like, that's all anybody wants to hear. It's like, you know, dumbass. The first time I ever experienced heat stroke, a stro heat stroke was hiking in California. Yep. Oh. Fucking. There's, there's a bunch of bullshit fucking legal stories. Um. Boy, this one here, this is at least amusing. For those of you who don't speak this bullshit, accursed language that is Cyrillic, it basically says Alaska is ours. It's a banner that went up in, in Russia. <laughs> Fuck it. It's, uh, <laughs> it's like Russians banging the drum for fucking ta taking back Alaska. Oh my God. It's just, it's just the dumbest fuck it. Like you're not going to try. You're not like, just, just stop it. Stop it. Nobody believes you. Yeah, I know. Right. <laughs> The, one of the better comments I've heard was, yeah, you in what army? Um, fucking another one that I heard from an American was, go ahead and try and we'll show you why we don't have health care. Like, it just, like, there's, there's a whole variety of responses to it. And it's just, it's sad. It's sad. It's sad. We're going to take back Alaska. No, you're not. You're going to fight a war on two fronts now? You're going to have an eastern front and a western front going? What the fuck is wrong with you? Come on. Fucking A. It's just this, it's just this stupid, raw, raw, rational, uh, nationalistic rhetoric that um, fucking... Uh, uh, the, the, the jingoistic rhetoric that the Russians are getting up to right now because they're, they're taking it on the chin. It's fucking, it's like, come on. Good luck. Oh, yeah, no, caboose. It's, it's, you wouldn't even, you're right. We'd be like, just call us if you need us. Like, that's, that's literally the American response to Alaskans at that point. It's just like, hey, Russia, just, hey. Russia's going to invade you. Just heads up. Um, call us if you need us, I guess. Like, you know, like, we'll leave the, we'll leave the keys. To, uh, we'll leave the keys in the chopper for you. If I, it's just, I mean, Russia's going to invade the U S and take, annex Alaska. 
One, we bought it fair and square. Get over it. <laughs> Fuck it. No, and two, no, nobody cares about the indigenous fucking rights. Let's face it. This is this is white empires talking to each other at this point. Like, no, that doesn't actually factor into the conversation. We bought it fair and square for <laughs> so it is what it is. Um, Alaska would just have to tactically position their population of moose. The hell, they'd probably just need one moose the way Russia's going. Um. Yes, Farron. So many of the... How many U.S. military members are we rocking now? Just out of curiosity. Let's see. 2020 will work. That works for me. Um, oh, so quite a few. Um... Do we count rever reservists? Yeah, why not? Um, yeah, let's count reservists. And then, oh yeah. Um, so the 2.3 million active members of the military who are primarily made up of millennial and Gen Z aged individuals at this point are um, fucking, what was the quote, pusses. Um, and would not die for freedom. One hilarious that you think fighting in the military is dying for freedom. That's just adorably naive at this point. Um, but to, in what sin, hey, Matic, in what, there's 21 to 28,000 troops in Alaska. Yeah, they'd be fine. That's more than enough with us armaments. That's more than enough to handle Russia. Um, Russians are... Have you seen what Russians are? You've got some weird, like, Soviet-era Cold War, like, block fucking uh, uh, idolatry image of fucking Russian soldiers in your head. Have you seen the thousands of hours of video footage out of Ukraine at this point? You Have you seen what... Russia's generals can't even keep themselves from getting killed on the front lines. They're so incompetent. Oh, the close-range missile detonation that they did? Oh, that's hilarious. Um, fuck, let me see if I can even find it at this point. Um, let's see... Oh, where's my... There we go. There we go. This is... This is the intelligence of the modern Russian soldier at work, of course. Um, destroying a Ukrainian S-300 uh, missile system. Um, he, of course, positions himself approximately, what, three feet from the fucking ex truck worth of explosives. That's the ever so fearful, terrifying, jackbooted thug that is the, the modern Russian combatant. Brilliant in the battlefield. Um, unstoppable. Um, well, unless he decides to, like, pull the pin of a hand grenade and just stand there and let the spring fly and go, hmm, what do I do with this? Because he's so fucking stupid. Jesus Christ. They've lost 40... How many, how many generals have they lost now? Because they're too stupid to keep their fucking generals away from the front lines? Jesus Christ, what is this, 1,400? Should we, should we move in the, the cavalry unit as well, sir? Maybe we can get some fucking knights on horseback up in this bitch, and the king shall lead them from the front. 
Now we shall all line up honorably. Of course, the Russians don't know much about honor, given what we've seen of the raping and pillaging as they move through. But yeah, it's the dumbest goddamn fucking. This this has been the funniest war of my life. You understand how bad Russia has fucked up. They this this has been the funniest shit. Ukraine has more tanks than when they started the fucking war because Russia can't hang on to them. Russia was so fucking janky with their fucking, uh, with their supply lines that their dudes were turning themselves in for a fucking cot and three solid meals. They didn't have gas for their armored uh, personnel carriers to get to the locations they needed. And this is all before the fucking rest of the world starts arming Ukraine. Like, dude, this is the dumbest goddamn war of my life. They keep losing generals. How do you lose a general in the modern day? What the fuck are you doing? Dimitri, go to the front. Oh, you know why? Because they don't have active modern communications because they were too fucking stupid and they rolled into Ukraine out of the gate, destroyed all of the modern uh, radio communications towers that they needed to run their own secure system, come in, have to use basic cell phones and walkie talkies and fucking open radio comms frequencies, which leads everybody to be able to drop uh, uh, drop in on their uh, fucking so-called signals intelligence at that point, right? Like literally the world over could just start monitoring their signals. There was open source intelligence websites literally just watching Russian clusters of cell phones move around because the troops were too stupid in using their cell phones. Not to mention they've had weapons depots, ammo depots, literally blown up because their dudes Instagram themselves. They're like, hey, what's up guys? Fucking hanging out with some boom booms today. Yeah, this is me, fucking yeah, fucking woo. Literally the next day, that dude's facility was vaporized. They've got fucking people tagging their fucking Instagram fucking tag up on the fucking wall in the houses where they're committing war crimes. And they're like, oh, hmm, I wonder who did it. This is the dumbest goddamn fucking war of my life. Russia was already facing a demographical collapse. They're lacking the infrastructure knowledge that they need to because they created a forced retirement program. Their fucking government is literally just a fucking kleptocracy at this point. Putin has been looting this from fucking day one. This is hilariously bad. Putin had the dictator's dilemma and he's fucking it up. Bad. Bad. This is... And then you're going to come in here and fucking tell me this motherfucker could run a war on two fronts. He can't run a war on one front. He can't. Then he's going to fucking toe with, go toe to toe with us. The only thing he's got in the bag at that point is a fucking nuke. And at this point, I'm not sure their command and control systems could get a nuke off the ground. This is fucking pathetic. This is ridiculous. This is a fucking anarchist talking. Like, for real, homie, Russia is sincerely inept economically, demographically, production-wise. Dude, they can't even make the, half the shit they need to make to replace the gear they're losing. I'm not kidding you. They got fucking supply line and manufacturing issues and knowledge base issues. They don't have the knowledge. They've been calling in third-party contractors for so long. They can't replace the fucking uh, Moskva, the fucking uh, aircraft carrier, like uh, the, the flagship. Like they, they can't replace that. That's that's not a thing they can do. Like this, they are losing gear they cannot replace. They are losing bodies they couldn't afford to uh, lose in the first place with the demographical collapse that Russia was already facing down. They're fucking already having a fucking flight of uh, the brain drain because people are fleeing fucking Russia for uh, because they're like, oh, I can fuck make a shit ton of money in the West and I'm not sanctioned up the ass. I can live a decent life. So they're facing the brain drain. Then they're facing like resource shutdown from third party countries that they were already reliant upon, but had weird relationships with dude, Russia, this is, dude, they shot themselves in the foot, like live on national TV. Like, we're just like, Hey, watch this pop. You're like, what the fuck did Russia just do? Dude. 
I don't think this is some weird America stand shit. Fuck. We got our own problems. We're balkanizing. We're fucking collapsed. But dude, yeah, Russia. Holy shit. And to fucking stand their military is hilarious. Their military is hilariously bad. One of their newest planes got shot down and had a fucking like Garmin fucking store brand GPS literally taped to the fucking cockpit HUD because it didn't have GPS. Like this, this is the jankiest fucking just absolute roughshod fucking operation. Their fucking colonels, their commanders, their generals, fucking all the way on up to the man himself have been looting the coffers for so many years that no maintenance was done, no hiring was done, no fucking actual cycle of material was done. The logistics supply line has been allowed to run dry. This is the goofiest goddamn shit you've ever seen. Like everybody, dude, even the dreaded Republican guard of Iraq, uh, of Iraq, right? Like going all the way back to the fucking nineties and the fucking CNN and the fucking the Republican guard, the Republican guard, um, fucking, you know, right? Like even, and they were just nothing. They gave through fuck, but this is, this is bad, man. This is bad. How can you objectively sit back, look at all of the footage that has come out of this shit show of a fucking attempt to annex Ukraine and be like, Russia's soldiers are the baddest ass motherfuckers on the planet and they would stomp a man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dude, one kid with a fucking PlayStation controller at Nellis in Las Vegas. That's the end of like most Russian battalions right there. I'm not kidding you. Fucking the drone program gets run right out of fucking Nellis here in Las Vegas, Nevada. The fucking drone pilots. Um, it's one of the advertising perks for being a drone pilot. I'm not kidding you. They tell them that you can um, you can be uh, running a sortie in uh, the Middle East. And um, by dinner, you can be enjoying a casino buffet. It's one of those things that they actually talk about here in fucking when they recruit, when the Air Force recruits for this part, uh, this part of the world, it's one of the perks, right? Fucking one kid with a fucking Xbox controller. There goes most of Russia's fucking military at this point. It's ridiculous. Mines in the Flintstones. Uh, did I miss any news? Uh, Papa John, um, fucking the ex prime minister of uh, Japan, uh, got fucking run up on d by a dude with a homemade shoddy double barrel. Um, boom. Uh, he's in critical condition. <laughs> um, he's he's a, a a wonderful person too. I mean, right wing nationalist monarch fucking return monarchist uh return to the old days undo the pacifist constitution deny the war crimes you know great guy great guy so thoughts and prayers out to shinzo abe what's up si uh 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 sci spy guy what's up si uh sci spy guy um yeah how should they know that you can't use google maps in the air oh fucking i had an acquaintance working with the french navy intelligence services and i was ranting that france should have stayed out of nato and he was like dude if you knew what i know you wouldn't say that and boy did this con conflict prove me wrong <laughs> um let's see the nuke just explodes in the silo when they try to launch it <laughs> uh. Um, let's see, looking it up, Russian soldiers used to be rationed a hundred, uh, hundred grams of, uh, vodka in their MREs. I mean, that's, you know, makes sense. Looks like team on a blasting off again. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Fuck it. Abe's still fighting against reparations for the comfort women. I eagerly await, uh, updates on his condition. Well, um, Marcus. No, Abe is no longer fighting against reparations for comfort women. He's um, fighting a different fight right now. Uh, it's funny how that works. Um, ah, red, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. It's a blunderbuss. I'll go with, I'll go with blunderbuss. 
It's, it's in that category. I'll, I'll go with, you know. Yeah, but no, uh, straight up, I heard that the powder may have been homemade too. He straight up made the black powder too. You know, something, something, something. Oh, <sighs> Um, let's see. Boom, boom. Oh, um, You got run up on by a science fair project. I mean, kinda, yeah. Straight up, and it put a pause in his game. That science fair project put a real pause in that dude's day. It's funny how that works. So DC by uh, DC uh, sidestepped the uh, congressional um, hindrances on recreational marijuana. It's the funniest shit. Honestly. Laugh my ass off. DC, um, the DC mayor signed a bill in that lets medical marijuana patients self-certify without a doctor. So basically everybody in DC can now be a, a, a medical patient without ever seeing a doctor. You would just go to a dispensary and they're like, are you a medical patient? And you're like, yep. You can self-certify. Like, uh, yeah, I, I need it for medicine. That's it. Nope. Fuck it. It's the funniest shit. I'm like, they passed a bill that just lets the patient self-certify. They're like, all right. <laughs> they can't have recreational because they, they're not allowed from, like, some congressional fucking rule that um, DC can't have. Like, they can't spend any money on doing it. So they, they couldn't find a way to get, like, a recreational in with this congressional uh, fucking roadblock in. So what they did is they just basically, because they, they, they let them have medical. So they were just like, yeah, now everybody can just be on medical. It doesn't require a doctor, and you can just certify it yourself. Job done. Everybody's a medical patient now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, burger. Oh, God. Are you actually engaging with it? Of, oh, of course. Of course. This is, dude, this is interesting brand nationalism we haven't seen in a minute. Um, Was it D.C. or Maryland where you got gifted marijuana for buying something? I, I, that, it feels like Maryland. Aspen. It feels like Maryland, but I'm not 100%. I'm not even... It's a coin flip for me. All right. I can't believe you're fucking. Uh, <laughs> cupcake. Hey, Puka. Um, cupcake doing the run. Going to see how many questions. <laughs> um, Kaiser, I've already seen something about him. Hold on. Um, um, okay. So yeah. Okay. This is what I saw about him. Kaiser is that he's a, f he's, um, Jesus Christ, Jesus work with me. Get off fucking Twitter. Why is that fucking site so slow? Um, He's 41. His name is Tetsuya Yamaga uh, Yamagami. Um, he's all we know about him at this point was he was a former member of the Japanese Navy, Maritime Self Defense Force, um, but Japanese Navy. Um, that's that's basically all we know at this point so far in the Anglo sphere, at least. Nothing. 
Um, I guess thinks um, I guess Spunk thinks Russian uh, Russian stand against the U.S. when they're struggling with Ukraine and their hand me down equipment. Oh yeah, no, Matic, he's adorable. I, that is why anybody's engaging with him. I have no fucking idea. Uh, but yeah. He, I mean, we all know what he thinks. He secretly thinks the Jews are fucking attempting to corrupt this country and fucking destabil- destabilize America because something, 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 probably end times prophecy, fucking conspiracy theorist madness. But either way, we already uh, we already saw that the Jews are that you know they uh, are deeply involved. So always, you know, right there. Ah, uh, there it is. There it is. We're getting there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cupcake. Yeah. Are, are you aware of this conspiracy theory, Cupcake? Um, Have we talked about the George? It's called the Guide Stones, not the Guiding Stones. It's the Guide Stones. Um, yeah, I, I have very mixed feelings. Actually, no. You know what? Fuck the Guide Stones. Um, California is going to make its own insulin. Guide stones are a fucking, we'll get there. Um, California is going to make its own insulin. Um, that's, that's a bigger story. That's a bigger story. That's, dude, that's funny. That's, that's funny. Um, like, yeah, 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 yes. Yeah, Caboose. Uh, fucking Newsom announced it today. They're going to allocate $100 million to getting the process started, $50 million to building a, uh, to build a, uh, a f- uh, manuf- manufacturing facility. They're going to feed it into a local jobs program. And yeah, they're going to, they're going to create their own California cheap insulin. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll be able to get through like Medi-Cal or yeah, Medi-Cal, right? The, the California Medicare, they're going to have their own insulin, insulin supply. Um, so yeah, like, yeah, California is going to start manufacturing its own insulin, which is hilarious because California drags the country a lot of the times. I was thinking about this, that Supreme court ruling where, uh, 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 that, that California and New York weren't uh, the the second amendment one that all the gun guys were happy about because they struck down the the ccw fucking restrictions right california new york california could just just ignore anything the supreme court says california is like the fifth or seventh largest economy in the world yo you know why we have clean air standards on fucking cars, right? You know why we have fucking like chemical warnings on shit? It's because California. California just says, look, if you want to do business in our economy, these are the rules. And every company is like, well, fuck. I mean, what are we going to do? Turn our back on California? Jesus Christ, there's so much money on the table there. Um, Yeah. Seven or eight worldwide. Yeah. It's like the world's seventh largest fucking economy, right? They can just do what they want. California needs to just start doing this more and more. It'd be hilarious. Fucking just ignore it. When the the Supreme Court ruling says, you know, you have to issue the CCWs. You shall issue. The fucking California should just be like, no. What are you going to do about it? What? We make so much of your military gear. We make your software. We fucking grow your food. We fucking, we're a giant L. We pay your taxes. Like what California could just literally shrug every single time. Every single time. They just speed up the balkanization of the U.S. And let's get this fucking show on the road. Fucking, and if it's, if it's fucking trolly and hilarious, like California making their own insulin and shit. You know, why not? Fucking win-win. If they keep doing it, U.S. will introduce sanctions on California unless it's a greater enemy than Cuba. California fucking pulls their fuck it pulls their weight from the U.S. Where I, dude, I sincerely think we may be worse off without California than California is with us. That I, I think that may actually be the relationship direction at this point. What's up, Astral? Um. 
Mr. Marshall has made his ruling. Now let him enforce it. Andrew Jackson slash California. Yeah. Right, Marcus? Like, what can they do to him, really? Like, I mean, imagine California seceding. Just imagine California not even seceding, right? Burger. Like, they just don't have to. California just be like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I mean, they really can just sort of shrug like they're in a super powerful position as an entity, as a polity, right? Like as a political unit, California is big dick energy. Like New York and California were the subject of that CCW ruling. New York and California could just tell them to kick rocks. What are you going to do? It's fucking New York and California. It's Wall Street and that's t that's tech and so much more. I mean, all your food. Like, yeah, I was thinking about this. I'm like, it'd just be hilarious. This fucking dude. When the, the like blue states start to wake up and realize the, the reality of the situation with like the lines being drawn on the ground as they were. As they are, well, you know, yeah. The only way to do something to Cali is to cut off the water and then Astral, I mean, they could fucking run a moonshot program to for desalination, probably. Nuclear power desalination or some shit. I mean, they could, it's California, man. They got the resources. Yeah. Yeah. The astral. Yeah. And even that's only temporary, right? Like it, it's, they'd solve it. it. It just absolutely. I was just giggling at that. I was like, dude, California could just start saying no to this shit. It's like, this is the way it works. No. What? Mm. We don't agree. We do not consent. We do not like, dude, it, it, you are only ruled by consent. When, when you have that kind of power and you don't consent, dude, California could just nope out a lot of this shit. What's up, Ramsey? Hey, Ramsey, can you do me a favor? I have a story that multiple people from Dutchland um, fucking said they had not seen in their news. Um, but I have an article from Bloomberg that says the Dutch parliament uh, approved a um, piece of legislation for y'all to make work from home a legal right. Can you verify this for me from like Dutch language sources? Because multiple people in the discussion were like, I have heard nothing about this. So, like, yeah. Thank you, Ramsey. That would be based as fuck. Be interesting. You know, we fucking get some distance from the, you know, I like it. Um, Marcus, they've done it before with other stuff, though. Like, the, the clean air standards and the automobile standards and the fucking lead standards and the tagging standards. Um... Fucking, uh, yeah, I, I think there's plenty of uh, room there, Marcus, for for uh, historically that California drags the rest of the U.S. forward or progressively in some way. And so, and uh, Marcus, those days are kind of coming to a close, man. I mean, the truth of the matter is, is that another 10 years, Nancy Pelosi and Feinstein and Schumer won't matter. Climate change will be ravaging. And G millennials and Gen Z will be very, very perturbed and in a better position to shove some fucking people out of the way if necessary. And California's already showing a propensity for that. Like, yeah, like, of course he's a climate change denier. Of course he's a climate change denier. Of course he is. Of course he is. Of course he is. Um, yeah, yeah. I think I think that'll be fun. I, I think that, that that that's that's not a certainty anymore. 
Oh, we know his opinion on Jews. Come on. <laughs> you, just, you just want him to say it? Yeah. Yeah, Astral. Yeah. Yeah, and I like what the UK and the, uh, the fucking... Thanks, Jam2. What's up? Do you have a good stream? I like, um, I like the uh, UK and the German, um, expropriator anarchists who, uh, do the, uh, the, the, uh, property expropriation, especially the McMansions and the disused, unused. Um, there's a good, there's a good select groups, uh, a few select groups, uh, especially in those two countries that are really good at, um, repurposing spaces. Yeah, it, it, Marcus, it's, it's sort of my point. What's that, waxing? It's sort of my point, Marcus, is that, like, we don't know anymore. I agree, historically, I'd be on your team. I'd be right there, fucking, I'd be second chairing that argument, 100%. I'd be like, yeah, historically. But that's changing. Times are changing, man, and I think we need to start accounting for some of that. Had a great stream, thank you. What'd you guys get up to? Um, hey, squiddy squiddy. Um, eh, we'll see. Um... If you want a toy, there's one in chat, Squid, um, um, them, um, fucking Russian soldiers are tough, uh, climate change is fake, uh, Putin's in cahoots with something, 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 you know, Jewish question, fucking, so if you need a toy, Squiddy, there's one in chat, um, if you need a chew toy, um, either way, hope you're well, my man, um, yeah, what'd you get up to, Jammed, what'd you guys cover? Hey, Deirdre. Um, <laughs> uh, that is true. I mean, that is true. Um, that is true, Marcus, for sure. I, 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 dude, I think, I think, uh, I mean, Newsom's trolly enough. Newsom's trolly enough. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. He was literally wrong. Like, just straight up. I'm like, Patrick Monahan isn't... Patrick Monahan is a fucking singer. Patrick Monahan did not fuck it. I'm like, who the fuck is... Patrick Monahan, the, the guy that started Greenpeace. Jesus Christ. Like, okay. So... Guy who didn't found Greenpeace. <sighs> Please feel free to link me a source that shows Patrick Monahan, founder of Greenpeace. Feel free. Anyway, okay, so back to somebody who actually matters. Um, a Ramsey. Okay, it's not as cool as it sounded at first. Unions are still negotiating a straight up right to work from home, but if you work in a company of 10 or more people for at least six months, you can officially request to work from home. Your employer can deny this request, but your employer is required by law to assure you a safe and healthy work environment, which puts them into a position where they have to prove the office is just as safe or safer than your home, which during a pandemic is unlikely. 
Okay, thank you, Ramsey. Not as based as we thought it was, um, but good nonetheless. I like it. I like it. <laughs> I used to eat nothing but fermented cabbage and unripe tomatoes, but after my heart attack, I started eating healthier. Um... Uh, green tomatoes are a thing, Astral. Deep South. Deep fried, deep fried green tomatoes. Totally a thing in the Deep South. Yep. We're weird like that, though. Um, oh, okay. So everybody, also an addendum. Um, this Farron person is, uh, he believes that white people were the original native population of America before the, uh, and I'm going to quote on this one, Indians uh, wiped them out. Um, so white supremacist conspiracy theorists, just so you know what you're dealing with, just proper, proper context for everybody. Um, yeah. So, so you know what you're chatting with. So everybody knows, this is Patrick Monahan. This is the lead singer of Train. He's, he says that the lead singer of Train um, founded Greenpeace. So you know. Might be relevant. Oh. Marcus, what time is it in the UK right now? I have an archaeologist friend. I must, I simply must inform. She'll be thrilled to learn. Uh, yeah, Farron, I already know it's Patrick Moore. I've known it was Patrick Moore since I started making fun of you for saying it was Patrick Monahan. Because you're such a snotty little brat about fucking being wrong. You're like straight up wrong about shit. And then you're a little bitch about it too at the same time. So what was I going to do? Actually correct you? No. You don't get the benefit of the doubt. You're a racist. You're a conservative. You're a conspiracy theorist. Oh, wait. I'm repeating myself. Anyway. So I don't have to argue in good faith with you. You don't get those benefits of the doubt. Because you've already shown you work in bad faith. So yeah, I know it's more. What's what's the original name too? Do you know? Do you know the the original name? Do you know about the committee? Anyway, <sighs> I'm talking to a Vermonter about fucking Greenpeace. Uh, look, white people are highly edible. We've been keeping it a secret, but now you know, rabbit. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, we're at rabbit by the, oh, rabbit, 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 rabbit. The person in chat with you right now, this Farron person, believes that white people are the original indigenous people of North America and that they were displaced by the Browns, by the quote unquote Indians. Just so this name up here, just this guy, this guy, just, just, just. <laughs> see, 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 wait, 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 confirmation for you, rabbit. Wait, 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 wait for it. Yep. True. You're welcome, rabbit. <laughs> Poor rabbit just had an annual. Uh, 
Oh yeah, that's totally true. We got help from the Atlanteans. All right. Now, Rabbit, look, I'll forgive you the genocide of my people. All right. That's fine. But withholding knowledge about Atlantis. Okay. I have been obsessed with Atlantis. Look, I've even been to the Edgar Casey Museum. How dare you hold back knowledge about Atlantis? This is unacceptable. I am offended beyond belief. Yeah, whatever. Genocide my people. But Atlantis. <laughs> um, <laughs> dear Dre, a gift for you. Um, you ever met an Atlantean? Those motherfuckers freaking hated Europe. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Rabbit, do you actually encounter people like that in your, like, professional life? Like, is that actually a thing you encounter? Like, have you ever, like, conducted a study or been to do a, a dig in an area? Um, suck it up. We'll never tell our secrets. Have you ever, like, have, is this, like, an actual thing, like, you deal with on, like, any level? Or is this just like online idiots that you're like, Jesus fucking Christ. <gasps> Marcus, you didn't know? You're welcome, Marcus. And then there's the museum, the, the house museum. This is where he lived and it's been turned into one as well. I've had to deal with those types as a college professor. It's insidious. Hey, waxing. Um, rabbit is as well. So, you know. Good to know, though. Oh, God, yes. That or Africa firsters. Mm, okay. Good to know. I was in a presentation once about a dig that was dated to 40,000. Um, great research, fantastic evidence, and out of the blue he goes. And that's how we know they were originally from, from France. All right. Well, that answers my question, Rabbit. Um, hey, um, Farron, how many, um, like, archaeological digs have you been on? Just, uh, just seriously, Farron, how many archaeological digs have you been on? H have you done any first-hand research into this? Can, can you, how, have you ever carbon dated an artifact, Farron? <laughs> Marcus, I had, I had the Casey obsession too, Marcus. Of course, of course you do. Marcus, you make me worry that I'm in, <laughs> I, may have, I may have issues. Um, <laughs> come on, Farron. Two in Chile and one in Arizona. Bullshit. Hey, f hey f uh, Farron, we have an actual professor of, of these matters in, in, in chat right now. Um, so... Yeah. Uh, Rabbit, I ne nearly fell out of my friggin' chair. Dude had four different chemical dates. Uh, they even did argon, uh, argon dating, uh, and it was fantastic. Then wham, and that's how they walked across the frozen Atlantic Ocean. I was like, what the fuck? All right. Well, I'm glad. I, that actually kind of makes me happy, Rabbit, that even in your professional life, you deal with that level of stupid.
No, Farron. F- Farron. We have we have somebody who's done actual archaeological digs, not pretended to be an archaeologist for five dollars. Yeah, no, Rabbit's credentials are in order, and I've seen them. You are just an idiot online racist troll who believes stupid shit because you're fucking functionally deficient and you lack a a firm education. Rabbit is an actual professor with real credentials, real studies into indigenous, uh, indigenous studies, and real archaeological experience. You have no credentials. I've seen Rabbit's. What's yours? Provide them. Because that's how this works. Expertise has been evaluated and Rabbit's expertise is clear and present in how he presents information, what he prevents, presents as information, the, the, mat, uh, the information that he is capable of presenting and the, the way he is capable of presenting it. And I've seen the actual information itself as far as he goes. His credentials are in order. You're just some schmuck. So put up or shut up. It's that simple. No, I want to know what your degree is in. I want to know where you've taught. I want to know what amount of uh, archaeological uh, uh, experience you have. I want to know if you've ever done any actual, uh, say, uh, dating of evidence yourself. I want to know what your experience is. Because I know rabbits. And you're, you're saying your level of expertise rises to or exceeds somebody's level of expertise that I have seen and I find you lo- you lacking. So you need to provide the evidence for your expertise or shut the fuck up. Because you're nobody. And we're talking in a prescriptive manner about something specific that has scientific foundings and backings and has historical context and you're just a racist piece of shit. So it's that simple. Trust me, we're going to fucking, dude, tr- we're going to go through your credentials on air. I'm not like homie. I'm telling you, if you want to be considered an expert here in this discussion and have any standing whatsoever on this matter, when you're up against somebody like Rabbit, we're going to investigate your fucking credentials on air. So you can just take your, yeah, fraudulent persona elsewhere. Extremely lacking in credibility. Yeah. (laughs) Rabbit, Jesus Christ. Ken Ham University. Um, Jesus, Rabbit, that's some, some great evidence. I showed you my credentials. Answer me. <laughs> Squiddy's squ- a uh, Squiddy. I love your fucking um, your, 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 your Squiddy just steps in. It's like, I have lower standards. <laughs> just, I could just see you popping your head in the room, Squid. And be like, I have lower standards. <laughs> You're like, I'll, I'll, I'll just take a fucking YouTube video. You even got that, bitch? <laughs> Oh, Squiddy. Hmm. Yeah, Che, it would. It'd be kind of interesting. Oh, Crimson, I know, right? Rabbit straight up. NASA sent you on a dig, Pookie. That's not an endorsement. <laughs> I'm reminded, Kvass. I'm reminded of the uh, the Brennan th- uh, uh, scene from Misfits and Magic. 
like, I only hope one day I can have um, a, a moment as badass as as fucking uh, uh, Brennan had in Misfits. Fucking, I, you know, here. It's fucking, I don't, um, wait, I'm being tagged somewhere. Holy shit, what, what, what? Oh, all right, cool. Um, oh, shit, okay, a Ramsey's got different info. I lied, we have the right, it passed the day before. Oh, we're at the I was an elite SEAL sniper part of the story. By my own fucking party, okay. Good job, a Ramsey. They have the right to work from home in, in the Netherlands now. Mm, yes, Farron. Absolutely nothing. Most assuredly, you definitely have provided f just a, you have been a font of valuable information backed by credible sources in science. For sure. Mm. Not speaking. All right. Real killer. They announce the next rounds and the moment. Oh, this scene. This is fucking great. Not speaking of killer. They announce the next rounds and the moment. Evan Kelp's name is announced. A massive section of adult wizards stand up. They are wearing dark green jerseys with kelp across it, <laughs> holding up That's big cool. signs that say dark one and losing their minds. I disavow you. <laughs> I disavow you. Yeah! <laughs> He's all oh my god. He's gonna tell me. Get therapy. <laughs> You have to encourage this. Jesus, Marcus. It is hard to hear. Like, it got real loud in here. People, like, there's a bunch of, like, acrobats, students, or just... I think your whole house is bad. I think you should think about it for just 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, no. Brennan's really bad. Bad Brennan's, from the jump. Okay. Brennan. Um, uh, I'm going to uh, uh, walk up to the... Yeah. Yeah. This you square is, up against this is great. Uh, like a dude. I love this scene. Some, mm. oh, sorry, I was gonna say, do is there a timed? Is it better to finish these faster or no? Does it? Does you it weren't told. You don't have a strong sense of like time as a factor. Okay, cool. Good, good, good. Hey, rock him, big fella. You got it, man. Hey, mess with the goat. Get the horns. <laughs> And the, the 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 fine fellow from Rosemont that's like staring across from me who kind of speaks up like, is, did you do that because you are a demon like they say? Oh, good, you speak English. Mm, okay. <laughs> the next two minutes are going to be really important for you. Um, <laughs> what are you doing? You have some really critical decisions to make, and the what first decision happened? that you should really consider is conceding prior to the match. Because, this is because really I'm weird. not going to hold too. back. Those lunatics over there, the wizard Nazis, they yeah. love my ass. They love me. I found that very concerning. I don't enjoy being You should be concerned. Here, but, like, so here's I'm the deal. Very, like, okay. You have probably about 90 seconds now to concede, and you really got to think it through, because what's going to happen is this. I can't guarantee what's going to happen to you. There's no promise for your safety. There's no like promise for anything like right that. Now. It's not psyching out. I'm doing the kindest thing I've ever done right now. No, it's happening. About 60 seconds left. Okay. You really should concede. If you're not so, going to concede, what do you concede. want me to tell your family? <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> yeah. I need you to make a roll. I'm literally so flustered. I don't know what to call it. The grit roll. Just a grit. He legitimately psychs out his GM. Brennan is OP as a player. It's, he has to be a GM. If he's allowed to focus his energy to one place, he's way OP as a, as a player. He's just OP. Like, yeah, he literally flusters his, his GM. It's, it's, yeah, it's astounding to watch him work. And yeah, no, it's, it's, you see, fucking, oh good, you speak English. Fucking, yeah, this is the kindest thing I've ever done. Like, oh, it is just, oh, man. He destroys, he just eats the scenery. He just eats the scenery. Oh, anyway, that's what was remind, uh, that's, um, that's what I was reminded of when discussing Farron versus uh, uh, Rabbit. 
was the pathetic little kid at the other end of the dueling table who's just walked up to the the fucking Dark Lord who's literally got a section of fucking people cheering that hopefully he will just annihilate this kid. Yeah. Farron thinks he can step to rabbit with any sort of credential. Oh, it's just adorable. Um, dude, Evan Kelp, man. <laughs> that character is fucking ridiculous. Um, oh, of course you won't, Kvass. Of course you won't. He's He's already, yeah. Proven himself. Um, all right. Let's see. So we did talk about that. We talked about that. Um, we talked about the insulin. Um, uh, <laughs> Tucker Carlson said he hates white liberal women more than anything else. Just FYI. Weird as shit. Um, fucking, of course, that's your boyfriend's name, isn't it? Fucking Kaiser. Um, yeah, Tucker Carlson said he hates white white liberal women more than anything. He he would probably he probably hates like progressive women of color more, but he doesn't actually think of them. Like that's not a thing that ever occurs to him. Yeah, thanks for the, the follow, Sean. Um, yeah, like that's it. Fucking women of color probably just don't you know. Mm. So, yeah, t Tucker said he hates liberal women more than anything. <sighs> just absolutely stupid. He's just like MLK. Hmm. I'm learned, maybe jammed. Learned, maybe. Yeah. Um... Did you see anybody see that fucking chart of um, oh I forget whose numbers they were um, here I think I still have it um, oh, I was just straight up map porn I don't know where let's see hold on let me see where their data source is okay here's their source all right cool um. Oh, for fuck's sake. There we go. All right. So, here you go. Uh, it's squid. I mean, it's it's ridiculous, right? Oh. Wait, he's Mormon? I didn't see that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So get in here close some of these numbers. These are uh not great. For there's nothing wrong in a sexual relationship between two persons of the same sex. I mean, there's some, um, <clears throat> hey, Europe, not as based as we would like you to be, but Eastern Europe, Western Europe, definitely. I mean, there's a massive leap from like Estonia to, uh, to uh, Latvia to Estonia in there as well. I mean, it's just, it's like, whew. So. Yeah. Famously, no gay people in Russia. Yes, no, no LGBT in Russia. That's just not a thing. Um. Oh, okay, I don't think he's actually Mormon. It's just white people were here first. Is close to the Mormons' religious beliefs. Fair enough. Greece, Greece. Have you met yourself? <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. Poland's got a thing happening right now. 
Hey, Astral. What's going on in Poland, man? What y'all up to? Uh, this was 2019. Uh, looks like by the last, I uh, was the last time that they generated this. Um, <laughs> jammed. Oh, oh, let's see. Oh, I mean, the police are doing what the police do. We got protests going on. Um, fucking Boris. Uh, do we need to mention Boris? Jesus Christ. Um, the Taliban are fighting amongst themselves now in Kabul. Also, um, I have no way to verify this, um, but there is a dude who um, was reporting, and he's like, he works on stuff like this. Um, where was it? Um, the Taliban is apparently like forbidding like young boys from like working at working out at gyms or something like that because it's causing problems. It's sexually tempting the fucking Taliban, older Taliban male members. So they had to like kick him out of the gyms. Somebody released a ruling on it. It's just another one of those like, oh, lovely. Um. Yeah. So the 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 lack of beard. Like I've I've heard a fucking. We've looked at that video of that one mullah, whoever was fucking talking about. You know, Western men, Western men who shave their face resemble women, and thus are a temptation. And you're like, what the fuck, man? Um. We have a vocal minority of haters here in a conservative church part. Some 20% of the haters. Interesting. Yeah, my brother in Allah. I think you might just be gay. Uh, yeah, Matic. Yeah, the lack of beard. Dude, that's been a, a thing several times before. The church and ruling party are a part of that LGBT haters bit. Okay, cool. Uh, well, thank you. Thank you for the update, at least, Astral, as to what the fuck is going on. And that concludes what the fuck is going on in Poland. Uh, beardless youth bedeviling the pious. For sure. Okay, we did that. Oh, fucking. I meant to, um, I meant to talk about this, or at least show this the other night. Um... Dude, India got a fucking problem. Like, well, we know India got a problem or three, but... Uh, these are all Kashmiri journalists who have been arrested and or being complete, uh, uh, being held and or being black sighted and or being cir just circled around the court system endlessly to ruin their lives. Uh, <laughs> fucking over and over. Um, yeah, the Indian government is really, really trying to keep quiet what's going on in, uh, in Kashmir still to this day. It's been going on for a couple of years now. I mean, well, look, it's been going on longer than a couple of years, but there's been a flare up, uh, <laughs> the past couple of years now, and they've been on basically military lockdown for a while. Um, and so, yeah, they, of course, you know, freedom of the press is one of the is the first thing to go. Um, and so, yeah, that's, that's a list of fucking journalists who are being either straight up jailed or continually harassed by the Indian state apparatus. Uh, they also ramped up their bot activities. Yeah. Helps if you deny Kashmir exists at all, says Rabbit. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you know, how do you... <laughs> It's like, they've been having a problem for, okay, for a while, but we don't have time for that story. Yeah, so, I just thought, 
you know, in their in their bid to control Kashmir and their bid to control the information flow from the region, I thought we could at least show a couple, a few of the na the names, the names that we're aware of, because you know that list is probably two to three times longer. <laughs> like, you know, there's probably a bunch that we're not aware of, straight up, because it says it's, it's an incomplete list. The Caravan published it, um, so yeah. Uh, I saw a wild meme claim that the Jews are Hindu brothers because of the golden calf uh, uh, saga. I mean, that's what, okay. I mean, sure, whatever. That's, that's definitely, <laughs> it's a thing you can say. You can say those words. Uh, fucking. Let's see. We did the Evalde stuff yesterday. Fucking oh, Arizona. Yeah, it's now illegal to f uh, film any uh, film film within eight feet of police in uh, the state of Arizona. It's officially law signed in by uh, fucking Ducey. I think is their governor. The only Ducey I think of is fucking that dumbass Steve Ducey over at like Fox News. It's the first thing that pops into my head with Ducey, but yeah, I think that's the governor of Arizona State. <laughs> it's Ducey. Um, yeah. Yeah, hey, Viscous. Uh, every once in a while, I text my friend of the Indian MOD, like, uh, so what the fuck, dude? Every response is just a picture of him shrugging in his office. Oh, Viscous, of course, it's going to get challenged, but I mean, you know. <laughs> They already do shit like that. They already harass anybody who films them. So this is just, you know, one reason. This is just one more excuse for them. Did you? No, Squiddy, I didn't. No, Squiddy, I didn't see that the Biden administration is working on new contracts for the border wall. <laughs> of course they are. <laughs> because of course they are. I don't come on load the thingy Google sucks <laughs> that's all I can tell you <laughs> fucking that, that Google Drive fucking link isn't loading there we go Jesus Christ that took a while ah uh... That's the, the one where you can, like, they've got the, the seesaws and you can reach through and talk and touch people, right? Friendship Park. Um, yeah, that's San Diego. That's the, the proper border. So, yeah, it looks like they're going to extend and finish the wall. Yeah. They're finishing, they're replacing the existing walls using design protocols approved during the Trump administration. They also commit the Biden administration and all future presidential administrations, this is a hell of an executive order, to the ongoing expense of border wall maintenance and enforcement. Yeah, sounds about, sounds about right. Such a friendly place. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. Yep, yeah, that's the, the friendship park that I was thinking of. Lovely. Yeah, oh yeah, for two. Nothing will fundamentally change. Where's our, or where's our, um, where's our friendly fucking, um, shit lib from the other night? His name John. Yeah. Fucking vote harder, man. Vote harder. Oh. oh, let's see. What else? Friendship prison. 
Oh, Aspen, dude, I didn't fucking, but like, holy shit, dude, they went into the wee hours. You fucking wee hours on that call. They were there for like 4 or 5 a.m., something like that. What, so what's the vote slogan for this one? Right to immigrate la for less? Uh, voting is too important. Do it at least twice. Uh, oh, uh, Viscous, did you see? Somebody's, uh, somebody's trying to uh, do an NFA uh, Supreme Court run challenge. Somebody's legally challenging the NFA, apparently. And they're going to use this Supreme Court to fucking take, uh, take a swing at it. <laughs> Viscous just came, everyone. Ray the gay way. For those of you who don't know, that's Viscous. Um, Viscous just, just ejaculated. 100%. Yeah. Bro just like blew a fucking load in his pants. <laughs> yeah, they're going for the NFA, man. National Firearms Act. This is why you can't have a machine gun, basically. The reason you can't have a hand grenade or a machine gun is the National Firearms Act. It's the NFA. It's, it really is one of the, the you can it's just expensive that one yeah but the reason it's expensive is because the importation clause viscous and you know it right it's an artificially modified economy the the government has put put, put in place t uh, tariffs and blockades creating an artificial demand and a lack uh, artificial lack of supply right without the the importation without the importation clause done that dude the price falls out of the fucking market just the bottom like falls right out uh good lord things about to get interesting in here yes grenade the fetus away Eat me a javelin and a nuke. Marcus, I think I need another drink. Um, okay, so now you'll be able to make them killer robots you always wanted. Fuck, I'm coming to the U.S. and buying a fully functioning tank. 100 gallons to the mile, baby. Uh, local store got robbed with a grenade a few years ago. This is caboose. Jesus Christ. Um, v5, I mean, makes sense. How else are the lethality numbers supposed to go up? Um... We need free movement of people, capital and firearms. <laughs> um, oh, it's not even, dude, it's not even Aspen. It's not even that. It's a fucking, dude. Conversion kits are easy. Conversion kits are super easy. <laughs> Season of Robot Wars is going to be brutal. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, you, we rent MP5s, fucking whatever, 50 cals. Yeah, we do it all the time here. <laughs> oh, it's this isn't Wraith. Uh, Astro, well, I mean, maybe they might get in the game. Um, you can buy a full auto uh, conversion kit for an AK for like 20 bucks. Yeah, dude, they're nothing. They're absolutely nothing. But yeah, yeah, the, the, gun, uh, the gun nuts are going to take a run at the NFA, Viscous. We'll see. Pit fucking. Hey, when we told them that the fucking. They were going to overturn Roe v. Wade, people said they won't happen. Sure. Oh, yeah. The, the, the crush a car with the tank thing. Yeah. There.
So, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm just me. Good name. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Uh, I saw folks on Twitch. Uh, I would never do it because of the dependency of a talking point. I fell on a damn chair. Dude, Squid. Some of those fucking, like, weird liberal, like, idea, like, I don't even want to. Mm, optimism? I, uh, naive naive belief within the uh, uh, belief in the system. I don't know where I want to fucking land that one, but yeah, squid. They would never. Mm. <clears throat> sure, plus T fifty four sixty k and takes a two hundred dollar tax stamp to register the main gun. Blood for care. Uh, I would totally do this. My bucket list is both that and firing a chain in about 100 rounds on a 50 cal. <clears throat> Fair enough. I haven't done the tank. Subtle way. Subtle way of saying that there, huh? Um, yeah. Dude, 50 cal's a fucking thump. It's a thump. It's, it's a, you know, a, it's a thump. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna rent out an MP5 for my birthday. It's gonna be lit. How many rounds do you want to put through it, Viscous? Styre makes a good gun. I haven't fought, I haven't fired a Styre 50. Um, Barrett's. Oh, good Barrett 50 cal. America. American made. Oh, yeah, it is. Gotta yell, I am Thor while you do it, though. <laughs> I am the god of fire and de destruction. Fuck all of you. Now, um, my first experience with a 50 cal was when I was, oh, way underweight. Jesus Christ. I was fucking 14, 15? 14 or 15. Um... Out in the desert, fucking like you know, full prone, splay legs, fucking rocking up into the full uh, full rubber pad shoulder uh, shoulder mount, fucking just absolutely t uh, tagging a spray painted rock um, out at a mile. That was that was the target. It was just a fucking bright orange, like orange red fucking spray painted rock. Just aim for that, fucking just. That thing moved me. I remember uh, the fly. That fly fucking dude. We were just watching, just waiting. This fly just poof, just disappears. Uh, yeah, at Maleficarum, I just didn't give a shit about which god. I, I, I know Thor is the god of fucking thunder and lightning, the Norse god. I, I just moved on. Because I don't give a shit about Thor or Norse mythology. Gods, myth, legend. Yeah, okay. Mythology. North myth uh, Norse mythology. I just want to be a god of fire and destruction. Because that's what a fucking firearm is. But, yeah. Um, What am I supposed to be worried about? I'm spooning a 50 cal. I could kill a building. Archer has so many good quotable lines. I love so... Dude, Archer has so many good quotable lines. I did, Viva. I did see... Um, the nine-year-old with the Uzi? Yes, I did. Um, and the instructor that didn't make it out of the um, the range that day. Um, you don't really see a whole lot on the 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 the, the video. Like you don't see everything. Um, but yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I saw the the nine-year-old <laughs> just. Uh, Ray, uh, uh, Viscous, Death Wish, Death Wish would work. Um, you had it set up on a table and ha put my hat down next to me. And the muzzle uh, break blew my hat behind me like ten feet. Yeah, dude, Aspen, they put out a fucking shockwave. They put out a shockwave. They really do. Yeah. Uh, to this to this day though, it's a Steyr Scout 308 integrated bipod. Just she's my baby. That's not a video. That's a punchline to a bad NRA joke. 
think it might. Mm -hmm. Depends who wrote the joke. I don't trust kids with scissors. Ah, it just, it was bad. It was bad range etiquette. It was bad teaching. It was bad everything. Like, I'm fine with, like, I think firearms training should start for, like, all kids in America at age eight because the fact of the matter is we're not going to get rid of guns, so we might as well just fucking teach people to use them safely, right? Like, um, I'm for early age fucking firearms training. If you're going to get exposed to firearms, you should do it young and you should do it reliably, but the dude was a shit instructor. He, t they t he should not have been in the position he was in when that weapon was loaded in the hands that it was in. Like, the whole thing was just, just like... So what happens it's like hey did you did you hear the guy who was like the driving instructor who stepped out into the middle of the road and got run over got run over like did you hear the fucking you know the the range uh, the range instructor they gave the nine-year-old an uzi loaded and was standing in front of them right got shot really wow shocking Right? It was just shit. It was shit range instruction. That's what happened. No, this fucking kid's gonna be fucked in the head for a while. Star Scouts are nice. They are. I, I do. That's my pretty. Yeah, but don't have an Uzi as the first gun. I mean, you know, I'd do like a 22 planker. Nice 22. You know? Uh, it's up with the cop who shoots himself in the foot while he's talking to class. Dude, that's fucking... He, he, that's, what he's saying, to is hilarious, Rabbit. Because the lecture he's giving at the same time is about how only... You shouldn't touch a firearm. You should call somebody because some only somebody who's trained and reliable and knows what they're doing with a firearm should handle a pop. And he shoots himself in front of a classroom of children. What he was just lecturing on how he was qualified to handle a firearm. It's a great video. Guns are dangerous. Bang. <laughs> yeah, no, he's straight up. He's lecturing them on firearm safety and how they shouldn't fuck around with firearms. And he shoots himself. It's a great video. Dude, gun, gun, gun guys laugh at shit like that all the time. Uh, no, I didn't, Melissa Karam. Got a name of it? What is it? Is this these fucking anarcho poco assholes? Everyone thinks anarchy is uh, do whatever you want. Anarchy just means self ownership, the most peaceful ideology in the world. The state has oppressed me since birth. I was wanting more freedom and wanting to be controlled less. We wanted a pure anarchist life for our kids. What they did in Mexico is a solution. What would you think about a conference in Mexico? It's Anarcho Poco. Like who question authority, who it's the fucking Anarcho Poco assholes. It will change your life. No, we don't want anarchist people here. It's going to be fucking epic. Anarcho Poco. Anarcho -poco. Anarcho -poco. Anarcho -poco. Fucking knew it. For moment really one of this, I knew who this was. The world is waking up. My best friends are anarchists. Fuck the government. Most of our people were buying into Bitcoin. Coming in on private jets and yachts. Oh, this is way more than that, fucking Sean. This is way more than that. This beautiful what is that? Paradise but no, it's they don't stay. They just. To. <sighs> and then these fucks. The happened. An Pope anarchist Mexico. has been shot to the death. Tragic situation. There was some sketchy stuff happening behind the scenes. No, really? A bunch of ANCAPs caps went to Mexico and sketchy shit happened. I'm shocked. You listen, or you die. I heard bang, bang, bang. I'm scared out of my mind. There was a legitimate fear that there's a bomb at the conference. At which point we were like, what the fuck? 
crypto crash. Well, if Karim's right, soon to be millions of people's first introduction to anarchism. How destructive. I fucking, these anarcho poco assholes, I swear to God. There's a lot of bloodshed in the city just all over the place. This is real anarchy here. This is not okay. Not okay at all. They are going to come after us. We have to be strong. Is there a limit to the sacrifice that you're willing to make? <gasps> no, 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 no. To fix the broken world? I'm not sure I would make it street? through this alive, Crimson. What are you going to do? Are we strong? Oh. 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 We're just calling it the anarchists. Oh. No, we can't watch this. No, I, I will lose my mind. I will lose my mind. I will legitimately lose my fucking mind. Like, I, I, I can't. I can't. I can't survive that thing. Mm. No, I'll have a fucking aneurysm and stroke out like three minutes into it. Dude, I've been dealing with these anarcho poco assholes for long enough now. I don't need to fucking watch a documentary about their shenanigans. Fucking, we can talk about their shenanigans if you want. These assholes are all fucking pseudo-spiritualist, white ethno-nationalist, Bitcoin fucking sex trade, uh, sex tourist, sex pest assholes. They all fucking the worst of the worst right wi right wing libertarian slash so called wannabe and caps uh, and caps. They are just terrible people. And yeah, they are the anarcho poco crew is definitely mixed up in that like a uh, fucking anarchy crew as well. Um, the words are magic, spiritualism bullshit. Very much uh, same crew. Um, yeah. Yeah, rabbit, I mean, kind of, uh, yeah. Since it's called the anarchist, can we see it free of charge? <laughs> uh, and cappery. God, I fucking hate and caps. I know, right? Also, I'm going to guess there was at least a handful of FBI agents in there. Um, hilariously, Melissa Karam, I don't think there were. Um, they just would be ruling class because it would fuel their coke and sex addictions. Uh, oh god, so they're those laws of attraction twerps. Lovely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rabbit, very much intertwined, yes. Um, I forget which fucking nut job, um, that's really famous in the, like, uh, the, the esoteric circles, the, the sort of the anarchy, um, the fucking cuckoo nut circles, right? One of those dudes that they cite all the time that gives like 14 hour lectures on the nature of like multidimensional consciousness and how higher dimensional beings feed on lower dimensional vibrations and shit is, uh, uh, of like a, one of the founding members members and like a speaker at anarcho poco like you know yeah oh yeah it's a fucking absolute shit show it's an absolute shit show and they all call themselves anarchists they all call themselves anarchists it is ridiculous a bunch of fucking tech bro pseudo spiritual spiritualist fucking grifter types with seriously sketchy predilections um, fucking rock up in Mexico calling themselves anarchists and then end up creating a fucking HBO documentary out of it. Jesus, fuck me. Uh, okay, so I was joking, but is McAfee tied to these people? Uh, Rabbit, sort of, kind of, in a way, yes. Not directly, but yes. Same circles. Same circles. Uh, definitely, uh, multiple of the Anarcho Poco attendees, uh, ran in the same circles as McAfee. Yeah, if John were alive, he would have attended. You need to vibrate higher, bro. Just drink this weird-ass shit. <laughs> weird-ass drink, bro. He was a speaker in 2020. There you go. Yeah. Like, see, it's, dude, definitely the same circles. Totally won't shut your liver down. <laughs> um, no, I can't imagine why, Sean. Ike was there in 2019. So there you go. David Ike spoke there in 2019. McAfee in 2020. Done. 
dude, these these people have been on my radar for a while. Fucking, they they're problematic. Let's just put it that way. And they've just became hyper problematic because now HBO's done a fucking documentary called The Anarchists, all about a bunch of fucking ancaps who went to Mexico and basically pissed and shit all over the place. Yes, Sean, that would be that would be David Ike. Who's David Ike? David Ike's the origin of the lizard people thing, Zippy. Like, the reason we talk about lizard people being like the queen is a lizard, that's David Ike. Straight up. Yeah, he wrote a whole series of fucking books about it back in like, well, God, how long ago did David Ike write that shit? 70s, 80s? It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Dude, it's been decades since David Icke wrote that shit. Um, yeah, he's he's the one who popularized it. Yeah, that's that's the reason we talk about fucking the elites being lizard people is because of David Icke. That's his that's his shtick. What's he doing now, Deirdre? What's he up? What's his idiot up to, up to? David Ike, that old, he's a lizard person now. Yeah, oh no, yeah, well, I, Ike's fucking, he is, he's a wild ride. Um, so can we just, you know what, that, just, we're done with it. Yeah, I, I, dear dry, I already, I handled it, we were done with it. It had, it had provided its, um, you know, the course of entertainment that it was going to provide. So, I did the humane thing. Put it down. Hmm. You're welcome, Deirdre. Um, do I, eh, 120, 120, 150. Um, <clears throat> I'm if I want to play a game or not. Hmm. Oh, in the meantime, I want to look at a video of Brian Shaw being Brian Shaw. Thirty-three pounds from that height doesn't even fucking notice. Watch this. Just nothing. Just tosses that fucking thing like it's nothing. Fucking a Shaw. Just a fucking beast. Just an absolute beast. Yeah, dude. He picks up the thirty-three pounds and throws it aside like it's literally nothing. Just nothing. He just, I mean, the same effort it takes me to like do that, right? Like Shaw just takes 33 pounds and just flicks it. Ah, oh, dude's a fucking machine. Hi, right, Jam. Um, okay, Jam, sleep well. Thanks for stopping by. Take care of yourself. Um, the, uh, none. oh, yes, this guy, this guy, I don't even, I don't even think I can show that on stream. I don't think I can show that. 
Uh, first one on the score she's had. Dude, he fucking just ting right off his fucking shoulder. Just like right off. Holy shit, rabbit. I'm just trying to get fucking... I'm just trying to get fucking, like, on the wall again. Oh, yeah, Zippy, didn't you know Rabbit used to be into all sorts of stupid-ass levels of bodybuilding? Yeah, Ra Rabbit used to be just dumb, thick neck big. Yeah. <laughs> Time for me to fall down and pass out, too. Everybody stay careful, because I know y'all aren't going to stay safe. Night, Deirdre. Sleep well. Is that actually happening? <gasps> All right. Two, uh, what is that? It's two and a half. Um, all right, you know what? Mm. <sighs> I don't know if I want to get like an hour of Zomboid in or something. Um, or I want to play something else, or that I just want to raid you guys out, or we continue talking, or I smoke another bowl. I'm going to smoke another bowl. We already know that's happening. Um, it's just shit like that with the back of the end of the truck. My two favorite descriptions of my pick from the years, those years is your body looks like a clenched fist and you look like Kyle coming back from nationals. Um, yeah, rabbit. I'm too much of a hard gainer, too much of a hard gainer, even with this uh, assistance, even with this chemical assistance, dude, I'm, I'm such a hard gainer. Dude, I, I bet um, <laughs> another bowl is the ontologically correct thing. Um, I'm betting I could like double my testosterone intake and I would not put it on the way that people would expect me to put it on. I'm such a hard gainer. It's ridiculous. Like my genetics is for like spider monkey, right? Not silverback gorilla. I'm spider monkey. Right? Like, it's it's just, I'm I'm gangly, I'm fucking climby, I'm difficult to hang on to, right? If you try and grapple me, I'm squirrely, right? That's what I'm learning, is even even through. Well, if I care, I'm, I'm orangutan. That's because you're a scrawny fuck. Uh, we all got to work to the body we have. Um, it just, uh, dude, rabbit, I've got, you know, I'm... Uh, <clears throat> assisted. <laughs> you know, I'm not natty. Um, it's a good fucking definition these days. I got good muscle development. I got pounds that got added, but not, not the way that people would be like, really? Yeah. Um, stealth archer build. <laughs> um, yeah, dude, I'm just, at this point, I'm just peeling it apart, working on subsections, developing them up, adding some muscle where I need to so I can get back on the climbing wall. I'm just going to, I just, well, on a climbing wall. I've never done climbing walls. I'm actually going to be, that's going to be a new thing for me. I'm going to train, I'm going to properly train my climbing. Um, I'm going to properly train my climbing. I never did that as a kid. I'm just a natural climber. Always was. Um... And so, like, now I'm going to throw some fucking work at it. And, you know. Yeah. Where's that? Do I have a that shot of... Where was he that he was, he was doing that? It would be... No. Okay, so it wasn't there. I don't know. He didn't stop free soloing. That's that's I mean that's just a fucking lie. Um anyway. All right. Where's the Okay, now we have a bigger problem. There we go. 
Oh, I hate, uh, I'm all hike and march through. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm get me to the face. Yeah. Just get me to the wall so we can start doing this. Yeah. All right. Close that. Ah, uh, there we go. Um, let's see. Oh, I still can't get over that kid. I still can't get over that kid. Hey, hey, ra uh, Rabbit, you weren't here for this at the beginning. Dude, I ranted about this for a while. Um, dude, Rabbit, you ready? This kid's 14. This kid's 14, 300 pounds, and supposedly a football recruit. There's so many problems here. Oh, rabbit. You think? Bitch tits, water retention, overdeveloped tra uh, uh, traps, fucking, like, and look at the legs. Look at the legs. And then look at the back. Look at the back, man. Look at the back. Dude, this kid's 14. Somebody put him on fucking a poorly designed cycle because he's got bitch tits. He's not on a fucking blocker, right? Like he's not on a fucking blocker. Even he's got bitch tits, right? Somebody put a fucking like 11 or 12 year old on a fucking heavy cycle. Yeah. That, that photo has been going around the fucking internet and people are like, you know, Oh, he's a big man. Fucking shit like that. I saw that. I'm like, Holy shit. That's a level of abuse. That's a level of abuse right there. Like it's not even a well-designed cycle, right? Like it's it, like it's one thing to have a well-designed cycle and ruin this kid's life. You're you're not even. This is. Oh my god! The workouts poor. The fucking cycles poor. And fucking people are like spreading this photo around like it's something to be like admired. I'm like Jesus Christ! On so many levels, this is fucked up. So many levels, it's fucked up. Oh, yeah, no, come on. Dude, dude, I've been saying that from fucking minute one when I started talking about it. Dude, if I'm opposing coach, I'm telling my players, just go for his fucking ankles and knees. Let's just, he'll he'll snap an ankle by first quarter, at the end of first quarter. We'll be done with this. That kid's, dude, his legs are so underdeveloped. It's ridiculous. Oh, yeah, dude, fucking rabbit. I mean, dude. The clotting issues with the fucking sickle cell, right? Right, like propensity, higher propens, uh, disproportionate higher propensity for sickle cell in combination with the clotting issues that are going to potentially come. He's not being monitored because you know he's not being monitored because they don't have him on a fucking E2 blocker. Can you imagine? But yeah, dude, like just all of it. It's like it's basically just solid fucking like it's jello at this point and just being squeezed through like toothpaste. Oh my God. Yeah. Saw that photo going around earlier today and it just immediately jumped out. I'm like, oh my God. Like, imagine going, dude, imagine being 12 year old him. Like, cause you know, they've got him on injections. Matt, they've got him on injections. Imagine being, being 12 years old and fucking being shot up with like elephant levels of testosterone. I think there's some HGH in there too, by the way. Based on the, the, the pseudo extension of the, the gastric region, I, I think there's some HGH in there too. Oh, yep. Yeah. Dude, rabbit, two years, I think, right? 11 or 12. I'm, I'm thinking somebody put him on his first cycle around like 11 or 12. I mean, look at the trap. Look at the trap de development, right? Like, because uh, the traps are like hi hypersensitive to uh, exogenous testosterone. Um, so you can always look at like a bodybuilder's traps, it's sort of like that's why they get so insane sometimes. Yeah, look at his overdeveloped traps. Like, dude, I think eleven or twelve. Somebody put an eleven-year-old on like elephant levels of testosterone. 
like 3,500 nanograms or some sh crazy shit, probably. Um, how to ruin your health forever 101. <laughs> Viscous. That kid's going to be dead by 22. Oh, rabbit. For sure there's no way his skeleton's kept up. Night, Zippy. Good luck. Sleep well. Dude, elephant on tea. Let's fucking go. Uh, rabbit, I bet they do. I bet they, if, uh, um, um, boot, boot solution, rabbit, right? I, 800 mig ibuprofens, just, 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 you know, bottles of fucking ibuprofen. Yeah. Shinzo Abe confirmed dead. Bump, 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 bump. Another one bites the dust. Um, thank you, Melissa Karam. Astral, that's... I wouldn't bet on it. <laughs> right, Astral, that's a, it's a, that's a big mite. It's a big mite. Um... Rip Bozo, you won't be missed. <laughs> Hashtag back on. Um, yeah, dude, that's. I figured you'd you'd find some interest in that. Um, rabbit, just. I mean, dude, I've been tripping on this fucking photo for ages. Yeah, Astral, I wouldn't bet on it either. You're right. Um, rabbit, uh, Shinzo is. Um, his party and him are right-wing, uh, okay, so the right-wing ethno-nationalist monarchists who still deny the war crimes Japan committed have attempted to dissolve uh, and replace the, um, the pacifist constitution and uh, generally are seen as, like, so uh, uh, hyper-nationalistic conservative elements, like right-wing elements within Japan. Um, so... You know, Shinzo Abe got run up on. Oh, well. He tried to replace that constitution multiple times when he was prime minister. He couldn't, the more progressive elements in Japan just wouldn't let him do it. Um, yeah. Ah, the name didn't immediately ring the bell. Oh, I, now I remember. Yeah. Why Shinzo, though? Uh, Yoshihide is, uh, Yoshihide is uh, the current PM. Um, because Shinzo's probably fucking running his mouth or somebody had a problem with him or mental illness or whatever. Uh, all we know in the Anglosphere, uh, at this point is that the dude is like 41 and, uh, is a former member of the Japanese Navy, Naval Defense Force. Um... Also, he was intimately acquainted with the Yakuza and has been accused of using their influence to kneecap leadership challenges. Marcus adding an addendum. Thank you, Marcus. Yeah. Yeah, no, he's, it's, it's claims. Oh, yeah, and the population growth thing is weird and creepy. All right, Aspen. Sorry, I'm, I'm going to catch up to Aspen here. Aspen's my smoking partner, and I'm probably like four bowls behind him at this point. Uh, damn, dude was old school. Okay, then. Yeah. Yeah, rabbit. Like, as far as, you know, an anarchist position goes, it's like, fuck Shinzo Abe. That's why the stream title is, what did Queen, Queen say to Shinzo Abe? Another one bites the dust. I don't give a shit. It's a fucking shithead ethno-nationalist war crime denying garbage human being. Some dude fucking ran up on him with a homemade fucking shotgun, like a hand cannon. Straight up double barrel. Homemade fucking black powder too, maybe. Like, straight up homemade, homemade. Like, homemade fucking ran up on him and just pop no more Shinzo Abe I'll just um, leave this here for a, a minute
Let them know I hate everyone. Ah. <coughs> oh, Sergey, there was. I can't show you the video, Sergey. The video's out there. The video is well and truly out there. Um. <coughs> yeah. Um. Oh no, I injected too many weeds. I did. Um, you know what? We can help out on this. Why the fuck aren't we helping out on this? Um, this would be... Fuck, it's politics. Dude, this is politics. Just straight up. Um, Sergey, are you on the Discord server? Copy image. Uh, that 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 isn't what I I meant to do. Image, copy image. There we are. Uh, Sergey, going up in politics. Going up in politics. So check politics. Uh, videos. Uh, the uh, one video there. Um, they pulled it, unfortunately. Let's see. I think here's another video of it happening. No, this is after he goes down. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I can show you this video. I can show you this. This one I can show you. <laughs> Let them know I hate everyone. <laughs> Jay, thank you for documenting my last words. That's him. That's him. That's the shooter. That's him right there. Straight up. That 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 sling is the shotgun. Straight up. That's the shotgun. Um I can show you the shotgun. Um I can show you him and the shotgun, I bet. Um okay. So here you go. There's 41. <clears throat> I know, right? For twos? It was good. <laughs> I think we can get a different shot of it, too. There's, yes, there is a copy. There we go. Here we go. Hang on. Here's another angle, another shot of it. This is this is what he was working with. Shh. 
So, there you go. He was this close. The roll of the electrical tape really adds that DIY feel. It does, doesn't it? And if you want to see the actual incident, it's up on the Discord server. Just look in the politics section. And it's there. <laughs> it is right behind him. It's nearby for Japanese media. Uh, just rubber tape, tube cannon. Yeah. Holy crap, Twitter's video interface sucks. No, it 100% does. Sergey, you're welcome. Um, Starlut's exclamation Discord. Um, yes. Shit happens. Uh, Japan actually has a history of uh, assassination attempts, like within recent histories. I can't do them off the top of my head, but there's history here. Um... Like, I, I, I'd have to go looking. Because um, they've... Somebody may know. Um, why did that not pop? Don't know why it didn't pop for you. Uh, but either way, there's a link there now for you. Um, <clears throat> it's like in the 80s. Yeah, it's, dude, it's not something, I just know it happened. <laughs> like, this isn't, oh, yeah, oh, here you go. No, no, no. <clears throat> A list of seven notorious assass assassination plots in Japan. Um, yeah, this is just, this, this is not, like, they've got a history of this. Like, yeah, that one. That's the one I know. Yeah, I know the 1961. Um, and then there's another one. Let's see. Let's check some dates here. Mm, nope. Definitely not. Definitely not. Definitely not. Nope. Okay, so. Yeah, it has to be that one that I'm thinking of. But either way, um, Yukio Mishima, uh, uh, Mishima tried to just uh, restore the Meiji Constitution over through the government in the seventies. Dude, Marcus, who is the guy? Does anybody know? I'm gonna get real vague here because I'm fairly well stoned and. Uh, this one isn't a solid memory for me. Who was the dude that led the failed, like, attempt at an uprising at, like, a throwback of the previous, it, it, like, wanted to bring back the old era. He stormed a military base and nobody took him seriously and he managed to get all the way to, like... <clears throat> the commandant's place or some shit and he fucking rambles some insane shit for like 10 or 30 minutes over the the speakers to this japanese like base and, and then commits ritual suicide who was that dude there's a dude because he inspired some other dude is that is that yukio i i it's i i don't Dude, that's because there's some crazy fucking stories that Japan has like this that you're just like, mm, they get up to some things. They get up to some things. Uh, it's, you know. <clears throat> there. It's been a minute. I, I, I kind of. If that was Yukio Mishima, then, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The dude's fucking batshit. Yeah, like, it's, but no, there's, there's, 
this is just sort of the pattern. I'm not surprised, really. <laughs> I'm not. It, there's there's going to be... <clears throat> yeah, because he's the one that inspired the, 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 the porn star. Right? Like, it, it's the craziest fucking story. Right, like the 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 the, Yukas, uh, the Yakuza porn star dude who kamikaze a fucking plane, like he inspired that guy, right? Like that's the chain of events. Dude, god damn, fucking Japan gets weird. So Japan just gets so fucking weird sometimes. Um, yeah, it's like the last kamikaze some shit. Like it was a. Oh yeah, yeah, no, 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 not by Yeah, we videos up in the in the Discord server if you want to see it. <laughs> like, <clears throat> he was kind of attractive in his defense. I mean, I get it. I see it. I see it, Marcus. I get it. Fair point. You know. Ah, uh, Ramsey, what you got for me? Uh Holy shit. Okay, so, uh, guys, you know how we were talking earlier about um, the Netherlands? <clears throat> Screamed, long live the emperor, then committed seppuku. Well, okay, then. Yeah. Dude, rabbit. It's a crazy fucking story. It's a crazy fucking story. Um, I mean... There's swag there. There's swag there. What's up? What's up, name? Uh, <laughs> oh, Che. Fucking Marcus has been threatening this one for a, a minute. The terrorist one. I'm pretty sure Marcus has mentioned that before. You're going to go give him fucking ideas. Oh, fucking A. I'm going to end up doing it. And I know I already know I am. Um, so I, I gotta tell you, you know how earlier I asked a Ramsey to verify this report for me. Okay. So here's, here's some weirdness that is happening. Um, I found on Reddit, um, a... Bloomberg news article about how the Dutch house has approved uh, making right to work from home a right. Just just straight up like you, you that is you have a right to work from home. You have a right to request. If they cannot provide you with the safety that your home would be, then they have no claim to force you to come in. That's, a, that's an illegal act. Now, this is an English language article. And there were multiple people in the comments that stated, I have heard nothing about this on my news and I am, I am Dutch. I have seen nothing about this. So immediately called into question, what the fuck is this? It's just some bl random Bloomberg piece about it. So when a Ramsey came in earlier, I hit him up and I was like, cause if you don't know, a Ramsey's involved in politics in, um, in the Netherlands, um, and like involved, involved. And so I was like, can you verify this for me? What is going on? They, in fact, have the right to work from home. It was passed the day before yesterday by a Ramsey's own fucking party. And straight up, quote, I don't think they want people to know. Not a single of what I would call reputable news sources covered it. But it is in government documents. There's some shit. <clears throat> There's some base shit, and then there's some sketchy shit. So there you go. <clears throat> uh, I, I. Yep. 
there, there's, there's some based ass shit and some sketchy ass shit happening simultaneously. Right, Rabbit? Like, it really begs motivations. I want to know what's the purpose. That, I mean, I, it, I, I just instinctually, like, I kind of feel, feel that, like, you know, of course, typical capitalistic purposes uh, apply, you know, so, uh, socioeconomic and, you know, statist sort of purposes would apply, but you passed it. You made it a thing. Like, why aren't, why is media blacking it out? Why aren't they seeing that as a valid thing to cover? Do they see it as a blase story? That it doesn't even, it's not even worth covering? Like, what, what, what's the, it begs questions. It's, it's some weird, sketchy ass shit happening with some based ass shit. And so that's, that's why I, I put it to you. <laughs> But that is some shit that just sort of went down in the course of this this stream was I've I've been trying to and a Ramsey happens to walk in the room and I'm like, can you verify he's involved? Like he said, you know, it is in government documents. Um, news orgs don't want all their staff working from home just straight up just straight up it's just the fucking media blackout it's just the media companies like we need them in the office it's just straight up it's just media just calling a fucking audible on the field like this isn't some nobody else is involved it's just like the media companies are like no oh, no oh, 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 oh. hmm. <laughs> great if it was just some petty ass shit like that Corporates don't want people working from home because they automatically assume they work. Oh, it's hard. Most media is corporate. It, dude, it's there's a whole ecosystem of economics, artificial economics at that. That is from all its byproducts. It's all the ancillary, it's the secondary and tertiary businesses. It's the gas stations. It's the fast food places. It's all of the bullshit that supports this ecosystem of transit to commute to a job, to a thing that you have to go to, like all of that, the insurance associated with it, that there's so much capital involved in that process that, dude, you're talking about, you are straight up walking to walking up to a heroin junkie and saying, I'm gonna need you to cut your habit down and down by half right now. They're not gonna be, that's, that's not a conversation like, did you, I don't know you. Who are you? What's just happened? Why? I don't feel good about this. You're, you're talking. That's real money, though. That's real money. And that's real societal control. That's real time out of people's lives. That's real methods of holding people down. Are you kidding me? Right. Fucking working from home is one of those things that if you had a critical mass of the population who legitimately had that that element of freedom. We're already seeing it. We're already starting to see some of the ramifications. We're starting to see some of the unionization. We're starting to see more of the cooperative talk. We're starting to see more of the, like, we're seeing it. At the same time, we're seeing the, you know, like the potential collapse of the United States, which is hilarious to see simultaneously because that's how it should happen. As that's just natural. That's just natural. When people sense that, they're like, oh shit, right? Like, okay, so what, what, let me pin down some solids, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, no, uh, cause, uh, in media, uh, we want to work from home. <clears throat> rabbit. Exactly. Well, well, I understand why there'd be a blackout on our side rabbit for sure. Like, I'd understand why we're not talking about it. Fucking U.S. media companies bl blasting out a fucking headline to, to like, like cable news that, like, hey, this, like, based-ass fucking European nation did some really based-ass shit. And, like, uh, you know, that's... <laughs> No, there's, there's just too much money. There's too much power. There's too much control over people's lives at stake on this topic. That's not some shit 
dude that that's not some shit that the the we're we're at this part of the world mm -mm. we're not they're not quite prepared for that 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 that's that doesn't feel good that for them feel great for us yeah headline check out how uncle sam has you bent Tory Graph is the only UK news I can find covering and a handful of right-wing US news sites are reporting it. Um, okay, so this is hilarious. The coverage is shit like East Bay Times and Mercury News. So, you know, Green Bay, Wisconsin is all up to speed, I guess, but NBC is not interested. Dude. See? Like, fuck it. What the fuck? This is a conscious decision at this point. You know that, right? Like, there's no... There's a conscious decision. Th that's not... You ca I mean, anybody with a lick of common sense. A lick of fucking realism. Look at that and go... Come on. Knowing what we know. Knowing how things work. It's like, sure, sure. Yeah, you just slipped right under the radar, huh? Didn't, didn't quite it wasn't really headline worthy you know i'm sure there's what somebody give me a what what what's the what's the trending headline what's the story right now of the day like if uh, let's 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 do this i don't go to these like stupid fucking websites um so like yahoo.com is that like a thing people do do people use yahoo is that actually a thing um New ra uh, new Raiders hires one for the NFL history books. Sandra Douglas Morgan made NFL history. She was hired by the Las Vegas Raiders on Thursday. Oh, look at that. That's that's some shit. So some like actresses. Uh, oh, down here, down here. Fucking PM. Fucking shot. Jesus Christ. This this all this shit. All this shit. Oh, by the way, Japan's ex PM got fucking run up on by a dude with a homemade fucking gat. Uh viral video cool 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 yahoo has a popular news aggregator okay um we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna click the news we're gonna we're gonna click the news that's that's i i, I trust cupcake to point me it um okay so yeah um Okay, so we got that. We got some Corona. We got this. We got the fucking Putin. Putin. Uh, we got some. I'm sorry. What the fuck? Uh, yeah. Oh, income equality. Uh, indignities of air travel. Let's see. We got some uh, fucking fish stuff. Dun dun. Probably calling out a bad father. Yeah. Okay. Dun dun. Jesus Christ. This is this is a fucking shit show of a news aggregation. Uh, fucking hey, crazy bitch. Um, uh, all right. So yeah, all right. So there, there we go. Thanks for the follow, uh, Casanatra. Uh, yeah, nobody expects the homemade shotgun. Um, so like literally, like this is a thing that happened in the Netherlands that even the Dutch aren't being informed about for some reason. Like, yeah, this is, this is a weird fucking thing. I don't, the Dutch gained a right to work from home and nobody's like covering it at any significant level, but everybody seems to be aware of it. And yeah, like a Ramsey who, is involved in, you know, politics uh, in the Netherlands. Has verified it for me and says, yeah, it's in the government documents, but nobody's talking about it. Like the Dutch gained the right to work from home. Like they, they, they the, 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 uh, the, the workplace has to be able to guarantee your safety to a standard equal to your. Um, the, the, the standard of living for the Netherlands, for your home life, which is very high. It's the Netherlands. 
And so, like, essentially in any pandemic sort of situation, like with flus, with COVID, there's no way for any workplace to, like, really win this argument. And so there's exceptions for, like, there's, there's jobs that have to be physically there. There's logical exceptions, apparently, within this law. But for everything that doesn't, you can't, like... Like they have to be physically on site to be able to do this task. The employee has the right to petition any other position to be worked from home. And if the employer can't prove that they can exceed the health standards, which they'll never be able to do, they have to be able to let them work from home. They're forced into a situation they're required by the Dutch government. And this law seems to have been passed. And nobody of any significance is covering it whatsoever. <laughs> whatsoever. It's just flying like right under the radar. Sure, sure. Cassin oh. Cassintra. Cassintra. Cassie, Phew, thank you. It's a late show. I'll tell you right now, I may have been smoking some uh, <clears throat> perfectly legal tobacco. Let's put it that way. So, night show. So, thanks for making it easy for me, Cassie. <laughs> um, can't let the peasants know they have rights. I know, right? I suppose worker times will run a headline. <laughs> Have the A&E doctors working from home. That'd be great, right? Yeah, just swing on around out back. Fucking, yeah, bring him up the lane. I don't know why working from home isn't an option for everyone that doesn't actually need to be on location to get their job done. Um, Yeah, no, it's just a logical, it's a logical next step. You want to tackle climate change? Hey, here's your fucking start. Stop going so many fucking places. Now, here's the problem. We, uh, we need to fix the whole living thing. Um, you know, yeah. All right, our <sighs> cities and towns and so much is built incorrectly. <laughs> so much is built incorrectly. Oh, there's so much renovation and so much innovation and so much urban renewal and the, the, the destruction of the suburbs and so there's so much stuff that needs to be done but if you could just stop going so many fucking places you'd be surprised <laughs> cars oh. they got you with the ball by the fucking cojones with the fucking cars Dude, it, living in Southwest, uh, living in Western United States, there is such a necessity. Uh, Mid country also knows this. The fucking like any of the, the the flyover states, dude, they all know this this feeling. Dude, it's it's just so far between two places. I I, I mean, literally, you can drive one particular direction in Texas. You can drive the the entire just east to west, west to east. In 24 hours, you will still not be outside uh, outside the state of Texas, right? If I drive eight hours from Las Vegas, I'm not outside my state yet. I mean, if I choose the correct direction, I'll be gone in 45 minutes. But if I point north, eight hours later, I'm not out of my state yet. Like the, the, the distances are just absolutely absurd. The scale that these places are built on are just stupid big. And so there's no surviving without a fucking car. Just everything is so just everything's over fucking there. It's ridiculous. Uh, it can take me two hours on public transport to get somewhere that'll take 30 minutes to drive though. Cass. Um, I'm going to shorten it all the way down to the cask. <laughs> fuck it. I know I'm going to do it. It's going to be instinctual. I just tighten stuff up. Sorry, Cassie. Um, my buddy, 
uh, was many years without a car here in Las Vegas. And he, we used, I mean, we'd hang out all the time. And um, Otis and I just decided to conduct an experiment one day. And we decided to see how long it would take for a, um, like for, for the, the same time. We're going to do this. Like, cause we knew roughly if I pick him up and come back to my house or if he took a bus, right? Who's, how long does that take? We knew the time. So we wanted to, I'll tell you how long it is. It took 23 minutes for me to drive basically a little north of Midtown, right? It took him just over four hours to do that same run at the same time of day. It, yeah, welcome to it. It, it is so insanely inefficient in some parts of the world, the country, um, this country. It's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, is, is, uh, who has, somebody's got some really good, um, communal housing. I forget who put that up. If I drive 15 minutes West, I'm in a different country and people with a long as bread, uh, under the, uh, with a long as bread under their arm insult me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember seeing the video uh, on who was it? I forget which European nation does like community housing really, really well. Uh, I have some of American tourist directions to the train station. And I put it into the map and said, see this build, big building? To, uh, that's the train station. And their minds were blown. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, fuck me. No, it's, it's absolutely, all of our shit is built just wrong. Just wrong. <laughs> we, there's so much infrastructure work to be done in this country. On the global scale, too. There's a lot elsewhere. <clears throat> but no, there's so much work to be done here. It's ridiculous. I spy a German. <laughs> Used to live in a really convenient place, but it was uh, 330... PW for that little shoebox and a million issues and it wasn't worth it in the end. Um, some unit of currency, I'm assuming. <laughs> per week. Okay. Wait. 3.30 weeklies? You were in a weekly for a fucking 3.30? Jesus. Yeah. Dude, that's that sort of... That's in that sort of situation. That's at the end of economics where... You get taken advantage of left, right, and center. So it's not like that pay, payday loan territory. Rent to, like, rental, uh, furniture rental. Yeah. It's in that territory of fucking, dude, they just, so many predatory, so many predatory businesses and industries. Um, Is that typical in Australia to pay per week? Because here... Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, no here. Yeah. If you were like, we have actually like pay per weeks, like straight up there. We have actual weeklies here. Um, and they're super like, um, like, yeah, dude, they're, they're fairly notorious. Let's just put it that way. It's up to me. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> Viscous. Viscous just wants an arcology. Um, if it was up to me, cities would be just big groups of commie blocks, just a, just like a thousand commie blocks with buses and commie blocks with businesses instead of houses. Yeah, see, I'm going to live out on the fucking skirts, though. Like, I'm not going to live in the fucking city. Like, you, you know, you, I, I, Viscous, 100%. Y'all should live in, like, that arcology. Viscous, I put, let you put in, be in charge of it. I ain't living in it. That's I. That's right. I'm just going to live out in the country. And y'all do that. But I'm going to live out in the country. 
So you can you can have yours, but you can't have me. <laughs> Cause fuck that. I've been bum fuck nowhere, and it's seven fifty USD a month. That's really good, actually. Unfurnished and not including bills for, for a two bed. <laughs> Dude, I. He wants a Judge Dread Tower. Oh, yeah. No, he's dude, he's a 40K guy. He wants the whole thing. That's fine. I'm fine with that, that compromise. <clears throat> Fuck the city. I live in Sydney. Fuck the city. Look, Cassie. You could live in Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> or Mississippi <laughs> or Alabama <laughs> or Arkansas or Georgia or South Carolina or West Virginia or Louisiana <laughs> alright there's a lot of places that you could live <laughs> Sydney would be a treat <laughs> uh yeah, <laughs> fuck it. Sydney would be a goddamn utopia. <laughs> Comparison, it would be a functioning utopia compared to Biloxi, <laughs> for sure. Paducah, Kentucky, compared to Sydney. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm a country boy, but even I'd take Sydney in a fucking heartbeat. Oh, uh, start singing country words because you said West Virginia. <laughs> country words. Uh. <laughs> Cassie's already on enough lists to not be led into USA. Yeah, that you're not going near the US. I mean, that's smart. It's the lowest available. Of those are hitting close to 15 here as well. So you're about on, you're about on parity with the US, weirdly enough, Che. It's full of pe it's just full of people. It's great on some levels, but I really don't want to be here. It's full of wankers in suits. I, I feel you there. I feel you there. And it's also very segregated in terms of where the rich and the poor live. Of course it is. Of course it is. It's a city. Cities are almost always that way. It's funny how that works. Oh. <laughs> I'm a Kiwi. Yes, yeah, Sydney's a bit of a hole. Dude. Sonia, Sonia, Sonia. All right, for the purposes of, all right, so exceptions for your real estate market, which is fucked because, I mean, the whole, just all of the reasons. <sighs> and you have a little bit of a, a white people issue, but beyond that, for the purposes of discussion of, shitholes and who's fucking what on the global scale like you and Iceland can just just fuck off to your perfect little paradises and just shut the hell up and let the rest of us suffer in our shitholes <laughs> and, and throw shit at each other <laughs> you fuckers <laughs> oh just gorgeous Oh, just fucking living paradises. Now nah, we have freedom of speech here. <laughs> so do we, surprisingly enough. We fucking... We, we, we get pretty mouthy. Yeah, Americans get pretty mouthy. <laughs> we, we actually... That's one of the ones we still actually kind of have. Uh... Kinda. Selectively enforced. Excuse me, we do not throw shit at each other with much more civilized. It's sheep's heads instead. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's a thing. It's a thing. All right. 
That is true though. All right, let me just refresh this page. Well, let's see what's what. Fuck yeah. All right. We're going to read over to public. Public's good people. If you don't know public, public is good people. We're going to read over to public, uh, mainly because I want to make some food. I need to get my food schedule back on pattern after my to- my fucking sleep schedule. Um, Completely flipped on me, as does when you have delayed phase sleep. <laughs> disorder um yeah but go be safe uh sergey you as well um well, thanks for spending some time thanks for hanging out fucking co-conspirators uh why won't i debate fabian liberty uh because i got 12 hours of fucking content on youtube debunking fucking right-wing libertarianism and so-called anarcho capitalism and the fact of the matter is is we've had discussions behind the scenes many a times in voice chat and we've had interactions here and um yeah he became a petulant little child uh kept interrupting the stream like a little obnoxious child and so we removed him from the community at that time And I, you know, ideologically, I don't see the need to have a conversation with somebody who openly ascribes to an ethno-nationalist position. Catch y'all later. Let's go over to public losers uh, place. Be nice.